I'm brought to you Hawa Brakatha Yahawa Shah Brak to you Hawa Brakatha Yahawa Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash Double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Defying Gravity by Source Newsbreak. Article entitled Report Claims US has been sitting on non human crafts, published fourteen hours ago. According to the Twitter account of UAP James, Ross Cohart on UFO whistleblower David Grush, a former UAP TF investigator who says the U.S. has retrieved craft of non-human origin. He was clear so highly with his TSSEI compartmented clearance that he was given access to over 2,000 special access programs. This is bullshit. When you think about the chariots, the chariots are not of this world. The chariots don't need to stop. The chariots don't need gas. The chariots defy the laws of gravity. Gravity. According to DiscoveryExpressKids.com Gravity, it's not just a good idea, it's the law. Gravity, we can't escape it. You've experienced gravity whenever you've dropped something, tripped and fell to the ground, or just stood in one place while the earth spins at an incredible rate, yet you don't fly off. How does this work? The force of gravity pulls you and everything else towards the core of the earth. Without it, we would just float off into space. Does gravity only exist on earth? Nope. Gravity is actually the force of attraction between any two masses. So it doesn't just exist on earth. And gravity doesn't just exist between the earth and other objects. Anything with mass has a gravitational pull. Mass stays the same wherever you go, but gravity is what gives you weight. The more mass an object has, the stronger the gravitational pull, the higher the weight. In the object below, you can see that the astronaut's mass stays at 120 kilograms, whether he's on Earth or the moon. But his weight changes due to the differences in gravitational pull. As you can see. Sir Isaac Newton was the scientist who first defined gravity. His theory of universal gravitation stated that gravity is a force that acts on all objects and has to do with both mass and distance. Gravitational pull is higher with larger masses and lower with smaller masses. If the two objects are closer, the gravitational pull is stronger. If the two objects are further away, the gravitational pull is weaker. According to the etymon for gravity, it means weight, heaviness, pressure, According to the scientific sense of downward acceleration of terrestrial bodies due to gravitation of the earth. A major, major error. According to the scientific sense of downward acceleration of terrestrial bodies, terrestrial means earth or earthly. The chariots are from the spiritual realm, the third heaven, 
or the fourth dimension. And therefore, by default, they defy meaning challenge or don't obey the laws of gravity. So if gravity cannot stop the chariots, how in the hell does Esau have aircraft? Unless this so-called aircraft is his own creation. Let's get some precepts, right? Um, according to, I want to say, Isaiah 63 and verse 1. Who is this that come from Edom? This is Yahweh Shah and the prophet Isaiah is speaking in the spirit, right? With dyed garments from Basra. America is modern day Basra. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yahweh Shai resides in the spiritual realm, and the chariots are in the spiritual realm. They are not of this earth. They don't crash, they don't need gas, right? They literally defy the laws of gravity. So with that being said, how in the fuck does Esau have remains of chariots unless it's his creation? Traveling in the greatness of his strength, right? And these chariots are from the third dimension, the spiritual realm or the Salakia, the third heaven or the fourth dimension, Salakia. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Um, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man, the prophets, going into the 144,000, stand in great boldness via the Holy Spirit, before the face of such as have afflicted him, beginning with the Edomites, trickling down to these other nations, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear because of what and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation the strangeness of his salvation meaning that these chariots are not of this world when Yahweh saves the elect of Israel in America and around the four corners of the world guess what He's not using a motorcycle or a car or a boat or a helicopter nor an airplane. He's coming back in a chariot from the fourth dimension or the third heaven, right? Which also can be identified or classified as strangeness because it is not of this world. The chariots are not of this world. And therefore, by default, according to the Etimon, the scientific sense of downward acceleration of earthly bodies due to gravitation of the earth. And the reason why the chariots defy the laws of gravity because they are not of this world. And again, David Grush is fucking lying.
When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And we're telling you via the Holy Scriptures, Yahweh is returning in a gigantic, massive chariot. Also can be identified as the fathership. So big that smaller chariots can can actually come out of it okay last precept Second Ezra 13 and 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are on the earth. This time frame now. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, literal. Extreme chaos. One place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. Hence, the spiritual realm led by Yahweh Shah versus the earthly realm led by the Edomites, beginning with their nobility. And guess what? Yahweh Shah, as well as the heavenly hosts, are returning in chariots. And these chariots are not of this world. Lord, will you edify, defying the laws of gravity. Gravity, Shalom.